Hey there, my friends. This is Robin Hood here, bringing you another Fall of the Samurai battle. Uh, this is another one versus one on the map to Hoku Forest, and we are fighting Lias. And uh, I have to say, I got really lucky that it was this map, this battle. And I also got really lucky in the fact that I decided to uh, switch up, not a lot, but switch up my army build just a little bit from uh, the regular thing that I normally use because I wanted to experiment you know do something a little bit different keep it fresh and as you guys know if you saw the last two live commentaries I'm uh, showing every single battle win or lose all that stuff uh, on the way to 10 stars because I was halfway through 9 star and it's like 8 or 9 battles so I thought why not people want follow the samurai uh, I'll give it and so we'll look at my army first off way over here in order to capture this dojo. I have a hidden Yari key, and if my opponent wasn't going to contest, I'm going to, uh, gunny, wow, gonna go take this. Going to, however you want it said, except gunny does not apply there at all. That is a, uh, that's not even a word, I don't think. It may be in the military, not sure. But then, I have one... Where are they? United States Marine there, 150 range. And then the key to this battle, two Tosa Riflemen. Then I have two White Bears, I want to say, yep, and an Imperial Infantry. Am I saying anything? Yeah, two Shogatai here. Both Shogatai. Then we've got my General. And uh, one more Yari Key. Now the reason I was lucky is because I am fighting one of the Spam Armies that I so hate. Uh, this guy spammed Imperial Guard Infantry. And since he has this much, you know, my Cav can't really do anything against it. My Shogatai could, but he'd shoot them down before I get there. And my infantry stands no chance because he has, you know, they're really good infantry. And this time I decided to bring White Bears instead of Imperials. And uh, even then I have way less. But this map, the trees are going to favor me and having that extra 150 range. Now my opponent here also has a very nice Armstrong gun unit which I'm going to have to take out and uh, he's gonna go ahead and target my general in a second. He was very careful with how he used it um, but then he's got this. This guy once again also he was like a 10 star silver general uh, silver prestige whatever you want to call it had tons of wins and very few losses so I either expected him to be really good or one of the spam armies and it was the spam armies and a lot of times people just can't I mean it's hard to beat these and on a, a different map I might not have been able to which uh, you know I guess that's that's one of the reasons I stopped playing the game and there you, you know you can always beat them it's just certain army builds are better and here targeting my general as you can see Look at how accurate those guys were. That is one nice unit. But the thing is, the reason, and you know, some subscribers were telling me, well, if you do this, you can beat them with this army build. And my logic behind it is just, I want to be able to play the game and have options. I don't want to have to use one army build in order to win. Uh, I want to play the game I want to play. And, you know, the thing is, say I bring this army build and my opponent has a different legit army build and he beats me, well, then that's great. You know, he won fair and square. But I'm not going to... I don't want to have to play to the spam armies. So I've decided if I lose, I lose. I don't care about ranks or stats or anything. I'm taking the game for what it is. And then, uh, you know, that's also helping because uh, you think a little bit more. Instead of getting mad at this army, I sat back and thought about it. Now, I've beaten these armies several times before, uh, but a lot of times there are certain situations where you can't, like the one video I posted a long time ago where the guy drew, it was a smaller map with the, uh, I forget, it's like a Boku Gorge or whatever. He sat on the hillside with a mat line all the way across the map of 150 range. Nothing I could do, nothing at all. And he ended up rage quitting because I wouldn't come attack him, which was funny, but... Uh, the, f you know, the people who bring these spams oftentimes aren't that good. The reason I'm not really saying anything, uh, tactics-wise right now is because nothing's going on. But, you can see, I took this dojo here. 
and I'm going to mount back up. And uh, I'm going to run forward with my general and get off some shots. But like I was saying, if people are bringing spams, a lot of times uh, they're not that good or they care about stats way too much. Play the game to have fun. I don't see how drawing a line and sitting there and letting your enemy uh, attack you and get destroyed is, is fun. There's not a lot of maneuvering to it. And these people also generally don't have much patience. Like the one guy I said, he could have attacked me and destroyed me with that army. Uh, on the Aboka Gorge, and you know, I had to hide in the woods from his cannons. He could have, oh, he could have destroyed me so badly. But they're so impatient, and they're unwilling to make moves because a lot of times they're not good enough to. It's through vet farming. This guy didn't vet farm, obviously. But I'm just trying to make him mad. I'm trying to lure his men into my Tosa rifleman's range. And the thing is, even that. Uh, the cool thing about that, my Tosas, while they're firing in the woods, they will remain hidden until he's, like, really close up. So he'd have to come way up to get them. I'd get, like, three or four volleys and, uh, also have my line infantry firing. So, you know, this army is just favoring me in this situation. And you can see he is shooting with his artillery stew. Still, my bad, uh, at the general and over here i have my yari key running around behind and you'll see you're like oh this isn't that bad it's only five units it's a longer line it goes way through he he spammed the crap out of them so you'll see when this unit moves on but that's the one thing i can do better than him i have uh you know good cross map micro most of the time sometimes like my last two live commentaries alone ago even the last one i didn't really do that much but two live commentaries ago i was just kind of sitting there like this look at this i ran forward and took a volley from these hidden units and uh they there's a line all the way to like here and then he's got like two more in these woods he's got another one he's he had like nine or ten of these imperial guard infantry so i'm just gonna back off my cav and have them hidden in these woods and uh the reason for that is, I, you know, if he advanced to find me, he'd come unhidden there. So, I figured I could get out of there in time. You can still, he's still trying to sh shoot my general uh, with quite a bit of success. So, I'm just going to run behind this hill. So, he has to shoot over a hill and through trees to get him. And uh, he's going to be smart and stop. But he can, he can make it because these Armstrong guns have such a range. And look at this, here's here's where I went. So I'm going to run forward my Tosas. And these guys actually didn't get to fire off a volley, but I'm going to fire off a volley. And he got a few of them with artillery. There goes one more. Surprised no one died. Oh, there. Yep, someone did die. But I'm going to run back into the trees hidden, except for this unit. They're no longer hidden. And he's going to keep advancing. I'm going to fire one more time. And uh, then, as he's getting into range here, I'm going to fall back so that he cannot get a volley. If he moves anymore, he's in range of my line infantry. And I have this Shogatai hidden over here. They took losses on the way over. Uh, they're down to 109 from 150 in, it was like two or three volleys of the cannon. So, 41 kills there. I mean, this artillery unit's really powerful. Um... And like I said, I'm taking the game for what it is, but I still think there should not be allowed veteran artillery. Because, you know, it's not that big of a deal until it gets to the 9 chevron point. And once again here, as he falls back, I'm uh, going to shoot him. So these units are down to 87 and 100 from 150. And I have fired uh, about two volleys. And here comes my Tosas one more time. So I'm just going to keep skirmishing with this guy. And this guy sees that I have the range advantage. So he's going to start moving in units on my flank. Here comes some more out of hiding. All Imperial Guard infantry. And uh, I'm not in a position to face this. I've got one White Bear unit creeping so that he doesn't know I'm ready to meet them. My Tosas are hidden but firing at these guys. And I'm shifting my lines now. Got my Tosas out here. Got my 150 range United States Marines. I'm keeping them hidden till the last second because his artillery is going to pound them. And I've got my Shogatai moving to capture this shrine. 
and uh, you can see I'm shifting over some more units. Here comes my Imperial Infantry and my Cavalry. And uh, here's another White Bear. So we're forming another line in the woods quickly. Um, so my only advantage is having these trees getting the first shot because uh, his men can outshoot mine, especially since I decided to bring White Bears this battle. But you can see now, he is absolutely shredding my units with fire. Here goes my Shogatayan, and I am moving in my United States Marines on the flank. Swinging my cavalry out to the right, and I'm going to move around behind him in a second. There we go. I had to, uh, you know, quick lapse and micro as I brought my general over, because this whole battle I was all over the place. I'm managing these guys back here at the same time, and I'm trying to get them away. Uh, they're actually going to take a volley there, but I'm going to get out. Here I'm going to do a quick charge to the back of this unit, decimate them, and my Shogatai are going to hit them from the front at the same time. That is one unit down. We've won this flank, and we're going to start wrapping in, hopefully, before these units get here. And at this time, I also did not notice these guys getting shot, because like I said, I'm trying to manage the whole battlefield. And like I said also earlier... Artillery's targeting my marines, but at this point, I, I have the momentum. I have to keep it. My Shogatai are just going to keep going. Okay, guys, for some reason, my game decided to crash right then. So we're a few seconds before uh, where it crashed. You can see the cavalry's going around, and my epic hammer and anvil is being set up right now. And we get to look at this flank as my Shogatai are going to... Uh, run through these men and my marines are gonna help clean up as well so you can see all those men going down and like i said this is about where we were our shogatai pushing forward and these guys getting uh, massively slaughtered look that guy just beheaded in front of us all of that good stuff and uh, this point was also pretty nice this guy's bringing up his reinforcements he was way too spread out um, that was, you know, his mistakes along with uh, my lucky army choice and all of that for this map because I, I figured the Tosas would work well on this map with all the trees, um, you know, is what's going to actually help win this. But you can see right here, he's firing in the back and he's actually mainly hitting his own men. But my Shogatai are going to go ahead and run and my Marines are just going to keep firing at their insane fire rate and uh, mow these guys down. Got my white bears in the trees now opening up as well. So you can see my line's pretty beat up. Uh, most of the ones that took the initial fire, but besides that, my army is pretty much intact. I even have some Shogatai left here after cleaning up two units, and all my cavalry is over here. And uh, at this point, he still has got a good force. He's got this Imperial, you know, well, duh. Of course he has Imperial Guard Infantry, because that's all he brought. Um, so, he's got them. He's got like four units. Maybe one more. Possibly hidden. I don't know. Can't quite tell you at this point in my general there. And he's also got his general, who also has 155 range. And you can see I'm slowly moving my cavalry around the back to try to see uh, if he'll notice it. They're hidden right now, and he's turning his troops to kind of face that direction. Although he still thinks I'm facing this way. And so when I see that uh, is when I'm actually going to move. I'm going to try to take out his Armstrong guns. And right here, look, see these guys, their morale effect. These guys are at 109 men and wavering because of that first shot. But I'm moving up my Imperial Infantry and White Bears, and he's in the trees now, so he's got major advantage. Uh, aside from the fact that I still have cavalry. And there you go. That unit is done. Here comes my Shogatai once more, and also the artillery. Uh, I just knocked them off their guns, and he's going to neglect to put them back on. And here we're going to do one more charge to the back. I'm going to shoot down quite a bit of my own cavalry there and this unit's going to turn and finish them off but my cavalry uh, along with this fire has uh, now taken out two units and my Shogatai are going to keep charging forward. They also helped here. 
They're exhausted though and down to 34 men, so they're pretty much done. Uh, yeah, they're not even going to make it up. And uh, they're sadly going to be shot down as they run away through the trees. But they have done their job well this battle. Um, you know, it's just his impatience. He, he could have, and if he wanted to attack like that, he should have done it with his entire force moving forward at once. Because um, that wouldn't have allowed me the room to maneuver with my cavalry and flank and such because he had way more troops. So right here, he has one hidden unit there and he has a full unit here. These units are still really dangerous. Um, he can actually still win this battle because of how dangerous Imperial Guard infantry are. I have won against an almost full army. Uh, it's one of my older videos actually with two Imperial Guard infantry close to full strength and his both are almost at full strength. That one is. And my men, you know, you saw good volley can almost rout them so if he does it right. But here his general is going to run forward and fire a shot. I turned around but my marines are in a dangerous position. I want to kill his general because he's just a nuisance and he can deal damage. Look at that. Getting quite a bit of hits. But he's going to try to move forward with these guys and trap my marines. And uh, so, you know, my marines are my last really big hitting unit. And if I lose them, he can definitely win. All I've got left is these little bit of Tosas with 150 range. So what I'm going to do, I know he's got the unit up there. I'm going to take these three. And uh, this is, no, that's actually two. My white bears and these guys to attack this unit. I'm going to have these two guys fend off against this unit. And I'm going to have my Tosas and my general uh, hold against their general, hoping for that first shot advantage. And uh, I'm going to allow my United States Marines to come do their work and I'm getting them nice and close so that the volley is very effective. Popped a um, suppressive fire. All my white bears, every single unit of mine had suppressive fire which was really nice uh, just for that reason that that also allowed me to help win it. Now right here yeah he is gonna charge the back of my marines but at this point the damage has been done to these guys. Uh, my toast has fired off a volley and my general is also helping pick off and my marines you know they're gonna hold fine I'm gonna move them forward a little bit and he's focusing on them they're pretty much a done unit but they're gonna hold strong and continue firing here and over on this flank uh, my men are just gonna outshoot his cuz I have two units and he had one plus with the first shot that's how it's gonna add up so we can take a look at the statistics now. Uh, that's one one more army down. So since I've come back to follow the samurai, that is three wins, no losses, extending from when I quit. A, uh, I think I was on an 11 winning streak. And you know, like people always wondered why I quit, because uh, I won the majority of my battles. It's just, like I said, I want to play the game, I want to play it, and I don't want to have to fight those uh you know super veteran or this kind of army uh, but like i said i'm taking it for what it is and there you can see i lost almost as much as i killed i lost the majority of my army uh he lost the majority of his army too but that was a tough fight killed 983 him 852 so it was very close just due to his army and my white bears can actually do the best there that very good and uh, there's his men of course let's count that up one two three four five six seven eight eight Imperial infantry with this really nice Armstrong gun which got a hundred five kills with uh, it only fired like five volleys so um, you know that's a lot had it been allowed to stay alive and had he kept bombarding during the battle that could have been a lot worse, but that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed that battle, and I will see you all next time with some more. Thank you for watching.